going on everybody? I'm uh, back with you today with another video and today we're actually testing out a new uh, pan, scraper, whatever you'd like to call it, behind our 4320. Uh, we got this from a friend of ours, got a pretty good deal on it, so we're out here testing it, seeing how it works. Uh, right now, Dad is actually shaving off the bank of a ditch just a little bit that's kind of getting a little too extreme, trying to slope it back out, make it look good, and take the dirt back up the top of the hill. So stick tight and I'll show you what we're doing. So a few folks can remember this spot right here. It used to be an old house here, and uh, we tore it down. And I think I might have said in a previous video that's where I'm gonna put my house, and as you can see, that's what we're trying to do right now. Uh, we got the, some red dirt out here, some field dirt, got it nice and level, got some string out here to check it after the, some rain hammers in a little bit more, make sure it's still level, and what Dad's doing right now is he's bringing some dirt from down that's washed down over the years to bring it back up here where we can get a little bit more gradual slope and taper on the back side of this this plot here so that's what we're doing right now So folks, I'm standing out here where we're gonna put our, our new house, and believe it or not, I've been waiting for a long time to tell you folks about this. We are actually gonna live in a barn. That's right. Uh, we have a barn that was built probably about 15 years ago now, and it turned out to be in a location that it's, it's not very good for, for what we're using it for. So we're just gonna build something smaller to work cows in, and we're gonna move that. That's what I'm gonna live in. It's actually, it's a single story structure, with a loft running the full length at the top. So basically it'll be a pretty good sized house. Like I said, it's gonna be made out of a barn. So the structure's already there. So what we're doing out here now is just getting the, the groundwork ready to pour slab. We're gonna put it on a concrete slab just because the dirt in this area, being that it's this all uh, black kind of hard clay dirt, it, it, it does, it shifts really weird. You don't want a house sitting directly on top of it around here. So we had to bring in a whole bunch of red dirt, sand, clay gravel, all that mixed together to make a nice foundation for this house. So I will keep y'all updated on that journey as it progresses. Well folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it really made me happy to finally tell y'all that I was getting me a house built. 
But I uh, hope you enjoyed the video of that old tractor pulling that scraper out there. And it did a wonderful job of it. We were able to get that ditch nice, smooth bottom instead of a sharp wall to it and be able to build a little more of an apron for my house. So stay tuned. And I'll tell you sometime in the future why do we need such a gradual slope up the back. It's not for mowing grass. You'll see, and I will show you the barn in the next video. So until then, please like and subscribe if you hadn't already, and I'll catch you folks later.